Hey besties, welcome to Cozy Rosie Reviews from My Couch. Today I am doing a movie review on Luckiest Girl Alive, currently on Netflix. It is from director Mike Barker and it stars Mila Kunis, Connie Britton, Chiara Aurelia, Finn Wittrap, and it's a woman in New York who seems to have things under control, is faced with a trauma that makes her life unravel. It is based on a best-selling book by Jessica Knoll. So, trigger warning, there is abuse and there is violence, and I saw neither of these two things coming from the trailer, so just wanna make sure I start off, warn you guys. This was a fantastic cast. I think Mila Kunis did a great job in this, coming back from really not being in anything for a very long time. Kiera Aurelia, she, Honestly, from Cruel Summer, I've loved this girl. I love the roles that she takes are very stressful and she does it so, so well. Like, I hope she's okay. From the trailer, I thought it was going to be a psychological thriller and it wasn't. Thriller-ish, psychological, sort of, but it was more of um, a woman trying to figure out her life while dealing with her past trauma, trying to not necessarily heal from it. She, There's still a lot of healing to be done, but it was more of an unpacking of the trauma. When the movie started off, Tiffany, who's played by Mila Kunis, is a very unlikable character. I'm like, I'm gonna just hate this person for the rest of the movie okay i guess like i just very I'm very intrigued by this story but just so you know you're going to start off hating her for great reasons you'll see why but then it gets better because as the movie continues you realize what the trauma is that she's dealing with and you start to feel empathy for her which that kind of feeling runs parallel to the storyline so kind of cool how they did that so that's what the movie is truly about she's reached this kind of fork in the road crossroad in her life where it's like she can go in one direction which is trying to figure out who she is and what she truly wants to do with her life and what her future looks like and the other path would be to do what she thought she always wanted and there's a difference because what you think you want can be directed by your upbringing, society in general, and just like who you think you should be as a person and not necessarily who you want to be. So there's the should and the want. So that's where she's at. And I, I'm just not, I'm not trying to spoil anything. But this movie was not what I expected, but it was definitely something that I wanted to watch without knowing. So for rating, I give The Luckiest Girl Alive a four. So good. It's deep. It's meaningful. Again, trigger warning. There's stuff in there that you want to prepare yourself mentally for. But it's good. It's a solid, really good movie. So, Luckiest Girl Alive. Have you seen it? What did you think? Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to check out my merch shop. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share because I appreciate you. So, until next time, friends, bye.